All right, everybody, welcome to the future of online sales. We are just waiting for uh, a few more people to join. I see a lot of people already inside. Um, I'm hoping you can see the slideshow presentation. If you can see that first um, screen that says the future of online sales, what's in store for us, just type in yes so that I know you can see the slide and uh, Maybe you can also hear me. Just let me know where you can hear me okay. Um, I'm not sure if you can see me on camera. Just let me know if you can see me on camera uh, just so that I can get it all set up as we uh, get a few more people into this webinar. have a lot of exciting information to share with you, but I know you're busy, so I want to make sure that this is quick. All right, so Anne-Marie says you can see me. Colette, you can see me. Can you also see the um, the slides as well? Can you see like a split screen? Uh, Kelly is here. Good to see you, Kelly. Uh, my man Derek is in the house. Hey, Derek, I'm very excited to uh, set up your store. Uh, we can do it today or tomorrow. Uh, I know you pulled the trigger really early on and got this offer. Uh, Kelly, I know you did too. So um, a couple of you guys are going to definitely be... Uh, first in line, and we can do it as soon as today. Uh, Michaela, hello, Richard. I can hear you, and I can see the presentation. Fabulous. Uh, Kelly, yes to everything, so you can see and hear me. Wonderful. We've still got a couple of people joining. Um, we have maxed out the room at 100 people, so we'll get underway uh, in just a few moments. And um, I want to share with you why I've changed my mind about online stores, why I moved away from something I've been using for years. I've been using uh, Vimeo and I looked the other day, I just canceled my account. I've been using it since 2014, 2014. Can't believe it. <laughs> so finally, I don't want to pay their fees anymore. Um, so I, I found a solution and I will tell you that the solution I've found is pretty awesome to really sell anything, physical, digital, uh, bookable gigs. You can sell whatever it is you want to sell for one time. But I also, even if you don't want this, I think the presentation will be valuable to you if at the end an online store isn't what you need because you don't have anything to sell. Uh, that's okay too. We've got Rennie in the house. Hey, how are you, my friend? Looking forward to seeing you on the, uh, the workshop here next month. Colette is in the house. Good to see you. Thank you so much. So we have a bunch of people already joining us. I am recording this. There will be a copy uh, of the digital replay that will get sent to you guys um, pretty soon afterwards. We're just going to get underway in just a second here. There's still a bunch of people joining. Um, I'm going to look and see what time I've got on my end. We've got like one minute before we get underway. And then I'm going to share with you my screen. I want you to see my online store. And I just want you to see some of the stuff that I've been doing um, behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fresh start for a lot of us. Um, we've been suffering with the lockdown and COVID and all that stuff over the <laughs> over the last uh, you know couple of years. If you're watching this replay and COVID was 10 years ago, then uh, then you know we were the ones that suffered back in the back in the day so uh yeah um and what i learned through through the lockdown i mean i know a lot of you made some lifetime changes during covid uh, certainly in 2020 and i know i did i mean i moved house sold a house bought a house i, I mean i moved zip codes i changed my business model around um and i made everything streamlined and more online because i think that's where the money is and a lot of people learn to go online, especially like the food order business, um, anything that was sort of like an online ordering system um, thrived and flourished. And anything that was bricks and mortar kind of suffered and got hurt through the lockdown and the restrictions. So this is all about having a passive income. This is all about having an income that you can rely on in the next lockdown should there be a future lockdown or a different variant or something else where you're finding your income starting to uh to take a hit then at least you'll be able to rely on your online sales which actually are booming uh, i'm in the uh, event industry i do public speaking seminars hypnosis shows as some of you know and uh, everything got canceled in 2020 so even more important was to have a strategy for selling stuff i'll say stuff because i sell all kinds of stuff but selling stuff 
online. So we are going to get underway. Thank you so much for all joining us. We have a really nice, uh, a nice room. If you have any questions, uh, ask them in the chat. I've got my um, virtual assistant, Natalie, monitoring the chat at the moment. She'll be able to flag any uh, significant questions. Uh, but let's get underway. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, the future of online sales. So what is in store for us in the coming weeks, in the coming month, and in the coming year? And why have a store when you can use other free options? Now, a lot of you already have stuff for sale. A lot of you have digital products. I know some of you have, you know, uh, videos for sale, MP3s for sale, uh, eBooks for sale. And I know some of you also have physical products. You have things like um, beads and bags and handbags and uh, jewelry and uh, other things that are physical that you actually need to ship. And some of you have a combination of physical and digital products. Also, some of you have services that you are selling like gigs, which would be shows, seminars, public speaking events, uh, bookable services, which would be something like booking a therapy session or a massage session or you know, booking somebody like uh, a classic example would be a chiropractor service. So this can be relevant for anything, any service where you are selling your time and your expertise for something, this would be relevant. Um, I know some people use the free stuff, like they will sell videos, but they will host the videos on YouTube. And the problem is with that is you don't own YouTube, whereas you do own your own store. So a lot of people that are using some of the free options, um, you're in a dangerous situation because you don't own the asset. So it's, I wouldn't recommend selling something on a platform that is not yours. And I hope this makes sense because let's just say you're selling stuff in Facebook marketplace and all of a sudden you get put in Facebook jail because you said something about the president or you said something about gas prices or you just said something controversial that you didn't mean it, but you just did it. And all of a sudden, Facebook put you in jail for seven days. Well, lo and behold, all of a sudden, you can't sell any of your products because you can't log into Facebook. And all of a sudden, they're going to ban your account, which means they're going to ban your Facebook Marketplace products as well. So that's a bad idea. Uh, sometimes people will use YouTube, uh, Instagram, which is all well and good because it's free traffic. The platforms are free. But again, if you got kicked out of Instagram for saying something wrong or you got hacked, Raise your hand if you know somebody that's been hacked on Facebook. I know I do. Raise your hand if you know somebody that's been hacked on all the social media and all of a sudden all these nasty little messages are getting sent to everybody. And then about, you know, a day later when they realize they're like, oh, I got hacked. Would you buy a product from somebody on a space in a place that has just been hacked? I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't give my credit card over or my uh, you know, all of a sudden buy something off a, off a platform like Facebook where they're watching you and monitoring you and scrutinizing you and people are getting hacked all over the place and it's the number one place that the good old Russians seem to like to get inside. I am not selling stuff on free platforms. Um, some people sell videos on YouTube. So what you do is you upload a video, you make the video unlisted on YouTube, sell it afterwards. What does it make the customer feel like when they know you're using a free platform? You know, they're thinking in their head, wow, what a cheap bastard. <laughs> you're cheap for using a free platform. And it's not a very good way of delivering something that someone just paid for. So there are free options. There are all these complicated funnels that you can use. And some of you know about building, you know, five-step funnels and different websites and pages but let's not make it confusing, let's make it simple. So you need a store that's easy and simple. Most of you, if not all of you, I know you've purchased something online and it was super easy. And most of you experience going through an online store like Shopify without even realizing it. But let's say you ordered some candles and all of a sudden the candles um, get ordered and you get told when they're getting delivered and you get an email that you've confirmed the order and it even tells you when they're going to get shipped and when it's going to get tracked and when it's going to arrive on your doorstep. We've all experienced that. And nine times out of 10, that's going to be a Shopify store, nine times out of 10. 
How many of you have ordered from Amazon? The answer is all of you at some point have used Amazon. The problem is all the merchants are paying Amazon fees. So it's funny because Amazon don't sell their own products. They're just arbitrage. They're just a broker. So Amazon own the platform and all the sellers sell their stuff on Amazon because it is the number one marketplace in the world. It took over eBay uh, and it is number one. But the problem is Amazon can kick you off at any time. And if there are any Amazon sellers right now on this webinar, just put that in the chat so that I know because Amazon sellers are now paying double the commission to Amazon, what they were paying about two years ago. Amazon got greedy because they're trying to get rockets to the moon and space and everybody everywhere else. So because of that, they're just increasing the fees. So when you sell a physical book on Amazon, you as the seller might get $3 and Amazon might get $8. You know, it, it's ludicrous. So you don't want to be using Amazon as a marketplace to sell your products although it is good to get new traffic and new customers. So you would use Amazon for attracting new customers, new people into your sort of uh, infrastructure, but you wouldn't rely on it just in case you get kicked out of Amazon. So Amazon is an option, it's free, but you are paying commission. Uh, let's have a look what else. So some facts about the marketplace that we're in, some facts about the world that we're currently in right now is simply this, online shopping has increased by 500% just in the last quarter alone. At the time of recording this, online shopping has gone up by 500% using cell phones. Well, why is that? People don't wanna, you, like, when was the last time you went to a shopping mall and you actually looked at the ghost town that the mall is? The only time the mall actually has any action is usually Christmas Eve, a couple of days around Valentine's perhaps, and the rest of the time, it's just a ghost town and there's no one using the malls. Why? It's too expensive to pay the rent in the mall. I actually uh, researched having a having a mall space a couple of years ago. And they wanted, honestly, for a tiny little sort of area in a mall, I think they wanted like a couple of, couple of thousand dollars a month and it was insane. And then the more I looked at the mall, the more I realized no people go in malls anymore. People shop online. So you need to be where people are. So if you've got a product or a service for sale, you need to be where your customers are or how to attract customers. And I'm going to come on to that in a minute. There are lots and lots of people out there right now that don't actually even know who you are yet because they can't find you. So another reason I have an online store with good search engine optimization with really good Google um, abilities is to have an online store that you own so that people can find you. So when they do search, for example, in my world, hypnosis for social anxiety, my product shows up because it, my store URL is the same as what they're searching. The number of digital buyers worldwide is estimated to reach 1.98 billion this year. Now, for those that don't really know what on earth that just is, digital buyers is people buying online courses, online merchandise, uh, online items that they can download. So a digital buyer is an online buyer that is buying something that we call uh, in the marketing world, digital dust. It just it just lives online as digital dust, like an ebook or an audio file or a video. The good thing about this is when you upload something, let's say I'm selling a video of a hypnosis show, a comedy stage hypnosis show, it can live online. So that one performance, I might make 10,000 sales from that one show because it lives online and it lives 24 seven, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, people are buying it. And that one performance, that one hour of being on stage has made me more money than the actual performance fee over and over again, because it's the digital buyers are worldwide, right? So if I do a hypnosis show in Las Vegas, I can sell my show to the people in the audience. I can say to the audience members, hey, after the show at the back of the room, you can buy this performance that your loved ones were actually in, or you can buy this copy of this seminar after this, but I can only really reach the people that were actually in the theater. So maybe like 300 people, but all of a sudden now I've realized I can actually tap in to a much larger market for people in different countries that would never, ever, ever manage to get to my show in Vegas. But 
but they can download it while they're sitting in South Korea and watch my show and pay the money and have it all streamlined. So it's got to be easy for them. And you have to make sure that people are able to go through the transaction of buying your products and services without feeling nervous. A lot of people are nervous about PayPal, nervous about Facebook Marketplace, nervous about Amazon. So you've got to make your infrastructure safe and secure so people feel happy in buying your products. Buyers expect, and this is you guys as well as me, a fast turnaround. 24 seven. So I want my stuff and I want it now. So when I order something digitally, I don't want to wait for it. I want it delivered. So one of the problems is if you're selling 10 videos, you need to make sure that what gets delivered when they press the buy button, what gets delivered within about 10 minutes at the most is those 10 videos on an email. So they get what they expect and it's instant gratification. If you're selling physical products, you need to ship that product immediately. You don't want to hang on to it. You want to sell it as fast as you can. Now, those that buy things off Amazon, you're not going to go for the person that says, I can deliver this in March. You're going to go for the fastest turnaround. And Amazon got smart. They knew people don't want to wait. So all of a sudden, a couple of years ago, guess what was born and hatched out of a little egg? Amazon Prime. <laughs> so Amazon Prime they started to charge a monthly fee for Amazon Prime to guarantee two-day shipping. I think shipping now is like within an hour or something. I mean, it's it's getting so fast, you press the button and it appears at your doorstep. But Amazon Prime was born out of instant gratification. It was born out of the need for speed, you know, the need to get things quickly. So customer service is important. You've got to have that in your store. But recognizing you can't physically do it all yourself, Instant access to products and services. That's what buyers want. Increased confidence, flexibility, low startup fees and costs, and the chance to reach a global audience are just a few of the things and a few of the benefits of online shopping S speaks for itself. It's, you know, my, my book, the, the first book I wrote on hypnosis, the number one sales of my book by far is in South Korea. And I actually have it automated that the books... Um, the books get shipped immediately through Amazon, but through my new system, through this new program, I don't have to rely on Amazon. I can actually do it in-house myself. So the advantages of online selling go beyond time and cost savings. If you choose this path, you'll find it easier to compete with larger businesses, put your products in front of a global audience. Now, some of you just want to ship products locally. Some of you just want to sell things in your own space, in your own niche, just inside of the United States or the United Kingdom or Australia or wherever you are. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly OK. But some of you want a global audience. Me personally, I want a global audience. I don't want to sell 100 weight loss videos. I want to sell 10,000 weight loss videos. Why? Because I understand the power of leverage. How am I going to find these people? Well, I'm going to find them through a global audience by learning how to do very, very basic Facebook ads, very, very basic marketing, YouTube ads, and then put my, my products and services in front of a, a mass amount of people. I can do that with my online store. So let's just talk quickly about the current limitations. What currently is holding people back from having online businesses and online stores and selling a lot of products and services? Well, the number one, of course, is you don't have any products. You don't have any services. You don't have anything to sell. If you don't have anything to sell, what the hell are you doing on this webinar? <laughs> but maybe you're going to have something to sell in the future. And if you are, each day in every way, you should be creating products based upon what you feel the most passionate about. You know, the best selling products are always products that scratch an itch or solve an issue or solve a problem. So, for example, if you're selling a luxury item, Let's just say some artwork. It is a luxury item selling artwork, but you're still solving a problem and scratching it an itch because somebody collects art and somebody wants it on their wall and somebody has a need to try and make their house look nice or their condo look nice or their environment look nice. And most of the time, it's because they want to solve the problem of looking good in front of friends, family, or it makes them feel good by looking at the artwork uh, with uh, obviously health, wealth, and relationship style products, it's super easy. Because if you're selling something that solves a relationship issue, like a self-help book, 
ebook, something like that, obviously they're searching for a, a problem that they might have and you're solving it with a product that you have. The same with entertainment. People love being entertained. Is it solving a problem? Yes, they want to be entertained. It's Friday night. They want to download something from your store. They want to watch it and stream it to the big screen. They want to watch the show that they're downloading. So what this online store can give you is your own Netflix of your own products and your own um, your own videos for people to watch. So imagine you can absolutely sell anything inside this online store. So some of the current limitations and some of the options out there are WooCommerce, which is a WordPress plugin. Now WooCommerce, it, it kind of fluctuates between price, but let's just say you do have a website. You've got your website, you know, Derek.com, and you could get a WooCommerce plugin, a WooCommerce solution, which is a WordPress plugin that you would purchase, you would buy it for your WordPress website, you would plug it into your website, you would either do it yourself or get a coder or a programmer to do it, and it is a free solution. The only problem with WordPress, and some of you might have experienced this, is whilst it's good for Google, whilst it's good for programmers, whilst it's easy to build and it's flexible, um, when you're when you're buying things through WooCommerce, it's okay, but it's vulnerable. Unless you have really good security on your WordPress website, because it's open source, see, WordPress is free. The themes and the plugins are what you're buying, but WordPress is always free. It's open source. So anybody can go in there and hack it. So you buy this really good security plugin and someone finds a way of hacking it. So then you have to buy another one and another one and another one. WooCommerce and WordPress always requires some level of babysitting because it always goes out of date. You always have to update the plugins. It's okay and it works. However, for me personally, it's not the ideal solution. Some of you have probably used WooCommerce and in the past and have experience. It works. It's functional but it doesn't do the upsells. It doesn't suggest other products like Amazon does. It doesn't take them to a really fancy checkout page. It just lives and stays inside of your WordPress website. Shopify, if you haven't heard of Shopify, it is the number one online store and online platform for selling products basically on the internet. Uh, Shopify has thousands and thousands of different themes, different looks and different styles. People are selling everything from jewelry to dog chews to baby cots and cribs. You name it, you can sell anything on Shopify. What it's not very good at is downloads. It's not good at delivering downloadable content. For me, I like to sell digital downloads. I like to sell audios and videos. Shopify isn't very good for that. It's designed more so for actually selling physical products. The other problem with Shopify is you can find an entry level Shopify account, $39 a month typically, but that's the very basic. That doesn't give you a chat widget. It doesn't give you um, all the other features that you might need. So in my experience, the, the, the cheapest way to get into Shopify is 40 bucks, but actually you're probably gonna really, to make it really work and look like a fancy store and to have tracking and things like that, you're actually looking at about 100 to 150 a month. Shopify will take a fee, so they're gonna take commission from everything you sell. They're also gonna charge you for the plugins that you use on a monthly fee, as well as the platform. So on average, 150 a month is what you're gonna spend on Shopify. Some people spend thousands and thousands a month on Shopify because they pimp it out basically. And a lot of people know it's the industry standard, but it's super expensive. And you've got that big monthly fee. Then there's a program called Gumroad. So gumroad.com is very good at selling digital and physical products. You can sell anything on Gumroad. It is free. So you don't have to pay to join or sign up. Um, the problem is, unless you're selling at least a thousand dollars a month in volume, you're gonna pay 9% commission on everything you sell. So that's the Gumroad fee. So you're gonna pay right out the gate 9%. Now, when you get to sell a thousand products a month or more, it then drops to 7%. And I think the threshold is something like when you sell over $5,000 a month in products, it goes down to six. 
But I mean, why would you want to spend 6% on every single product? It, it adds up and it doesn't make it worth its while. So it's a great platform. It's expensive. Then you've got Vimeo. Vimeo is specifically designed to sell videos. I used to use this to sell all my videos after my shows, right up until just recently. Uh, they're roughly about 6 7% based on what you sell. So there are fees. And of course, you have to pay an annual fee. So Vimeo Pro is 200 a month. Vimeo Business, I think, is 400 a month. Uh, does a good job of selling videos on demand, so specifically for videos, but it's expensive. You've then got a lot of other online stores out there. Now, some of them are, are free. So you sign up for this online store and it's free, but they only give you five products. So they limit you on how many products you can sell, but it's free. So they hook you in. It takes you forever to set these stores up and you set it up. And then all of a sudden, all these fees start to creep in, like transaction fees. Uh, you have membership sites where you can sell somebody a membership to have access to your NFTs, to your videos, to your audios, to your ebooks. Problem is with membership sites, they're super expensive. If you go to kajabi.com, K A J A B I.com, and just look at how much Kajabi are charging, I think it's like $300 a month. Um, they're all, and Thinkific is the same. They're all expensive um, because they want your money, they want your monthly money. So a couple of those solutions out there. So here's what we have with the online store that I'm about to show you real quick. We can virtually sell anything because we own our own store. We use a platform that hosts the store, but we can virtually sell anything. And so we can sell the digital downloads. We can sell the digital prints, the digital artwork, the digital delivery of audio or video. We can also sell physical products and we can organize the shipping costs. We can work out the tax. We can work out everything we need to, in order to ship this thing out the door. So physical products is good. Uh, we can sell gigs and services. So it has a built in calendar. Somebody can book you for, for example, a therapy session or for a show or for something that you are providing a service for. Maybe you're offering um hypnosis shows, comedy shows, well, you can actually sell your show using this platform I'm about to show you. So any gigs or services, a gig could be you're selling graphic design, you're selling logo creations, or you're selling voiceovers. It could actually be anything. Uh, subscriptions, so you're, you're actually charging a monthly fee. That could be a membership site or platform. That could be something that People join and they pay a monthly fee to get weight loss tips. Uh, they get uh, uh, maybe they get an email once a week with um, how to master golf confidence and all these golfers pay this monthly fee or subscription. So it could actually be anything you can think of. Imagine Netflix, you're paying ten dollars a month to hack to, to be able to access the library of the videos that that they have basically uploaded the shows that they've uploaded. And then the final one is like Uber style, like delivery. So built into the store, you can actually create and set up a delivery service, which is kind of cool. So this is good for restaurants. So you could actually you could actually host your local restaurant's menu up inside your online store. And then you could actually sell the delivery service to your to your local restaurant. So basically, you can sell anything to anyone. So a new era in selling merchandise. So as a, as a hypnotist, as somebody that does shows, as somebody that does a production and a performance, one of the things I've always made a good amount of money doing is selling my products, selling my merchandise. I've been selling t-shirts, thumb drives, video presentations, all kinds of stuff, hats, you know, apparel. You think, you name it, I've probably sold it at some point at the back of a room. But this is a new way of doing it. I don't want to carry tons and tons of T-shirts and hats and DVDs and CDs. I don't want to do that. Now, one of the questions I always get asked is, oh, but people buy in the moment. Like people purchase in the moment. And then when they leave the live event, they, they kind of don't buy anymore because they've sort of forgotten about the emotions attached to the live event. Well, that's interesting because my sales have gone up. 
because actually I'm capitalizing on the new digital marketplace and the new global audience. So that is not the case in my experience. So here we go. I'm gonna show you now how the store works, what it looks like, how awesome it is. But first of all, in the chat box, type yes if you're good so far. Type yes if you're ready to continue. If you have any questions, type them in the box. Let's just make sure we're all on the same page, make sure we're ready to roll. And then I'm gonna show you under the hood. If you have any questions, type them in. I'm gonna take a little look. We've got bunches of yeses coming in. Everybody's looking good. Haven't bored the crap out of you yet. That's awesome. And I'm about to show you some of the fun stuff right now. So we've got a bunch of readies, a bunch of yeses. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen. Now, when I do share my screen, there is a little sort of area on your screen where you're able to go full screen. So when I share my screen, you're able to blow it up and you'll be able to see what I'm sharing in full, in the full screen. So let me get to my screen sharing. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different things here. And just how cool this is. And here we go. So right now, you should be able to see my screen. Do me a favor. We'll start here. Just do me a favor. Let me know if you can see the screen just by chatting yes. You should be, or just say, I've seen your screen because I've got a lot of yeses. So just give me one so I know you're seeing it. I think Kimberly is saying yes. Michaela is saying yes. You should be seeing my yes, yes screen. All right, so here we go. So here's my new online store. Uh, it's not yet finished, but it just gives you an idea of how clean and how nice it is. So one of the things to, to notice, if you can look at the URL at the top, I've got it set up to shop.incrediblehypnotist.com. This is huge because this store is sitting on my subdomain. Unfortunately, Shopify doesn't give you that. They have always have their name inside the store, like something shopify.com. It's hard to map your own personal domain to your store. So first thing to do is it's sitting on my own custom domain, incrediblehypnotist.com. What's good about that is I'm getting all the traffic from Google. So you'll see on the right hand side, you're able to put all your social media links in there. All these social media links will go directly, obviously to your social media. Now you can set this up however you want to. Uh, you will see right here that under items, here's a bunch of my products, sexual confidence for men, sexual confidence for women, removing anxiety, improving public speaking, think positive, whole bunch of stuff. If I go to page, sometimes they've got images behind them. If I hover over it, you'll see that I've added other images. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, you'll see if I look on page two real quick, these are all videos. So those guys that particularly sell comedy videos like hypnosis videos, and I know a lot of you do, magic videos, I'm not using Vimeo anymore. I'm literally using my own online store to host my videos. I'll show you what that looks like in just one second. So as somebody browsing this, they can see the About Me page. I'm gonna obviously make this one a little bit more detailed right now. I've just got a little bit of text on there. I've got my policies all about refunds, all about how to get your money back, all about sharing data, sharing information, that stuff and cookies and things like that. That stuff you definitely want on something like this because you want to make sure you're not attracting a lot of refunds. You want to make sure that you're compliant around the world, not just in the USA for those just in America, but that you are compliant with all the rules about selling things capturing people's information because when somebody buys a product out of my store in my back end of this this um this shop they actually join my um my crm my customer relationship manager so i can see their name their phone number their email things like that you can search by categories so if i just wanted to look at hypnosis sessions i would just go there and there it is if I just wanted to look at the videos for sale, I could come here. Now you can have as many categories as you want, which is kind of cool. And when a customer has purchased something, they can go to the customer portal right here 
and they can see all the orders. They can re-download their thing if they've lost it. They can access information about your products, services. So it's kind of a nice way that they can see their invoice. They can re-download something if they've lost it. So let's just go through and pick one of these real quick. We'll just pick this first one. So here's a college hypnosis show at the University of Florida. Uh, if I was to click on that, it's going to go to the page that is selling this product. One thing to note, look how the URL changed, which is good for search engine optimization. Shop.incrediblehypnotist.com forward slash shop forward slash college hypnosis show UF. So those that know, know that I'm leveraging Google's search engine algorithm. This becomes searchable and it becomes discoverable on YouTube. So, uh, sorry, on uh, on Google. So now you can see that I've written a description. I just kept it super brief. I added a couple of photos. I could add as many as I want. I added a description. Now check the power of this store out. Those that like this video may also like this. So I'm cross-selling. I'm selling my other stuff inside my store. So let's just imagine I add that to the cart. There it is, it gets added and it tells them what's cool about this, I can add other products. So you know what, since they suggested that, they don't have to go to this page, so you're not gonna lose them. There's just a quick add to cart button down there. And look how quickly that was added. So this has some really amazing upsells. Now, when you go and you're ready to check out, I'll just click on the checkout. Super clean, super simple, super organized. And you'll see inside of the shopping cart that you can see the cost of items. If I had a coupon code, and you can you can create unlimited coupon codes. If I had a coupon code, I could put it in there. Let's just proceed to checkout. And I'm gonna show you a live version of somebody else's store in a minute of actually checking out so that you can see the delivery email. Now look at this, checkout, are you a returning customer? If you are, you can log in here so that I can track all the orders of my previous stuff. If I have a coupon, I can enter it there. And if not, I'm just gonna fill in the billing as you normally would, enter in a credit card. I could pay by credit card or I could pay by PayPal. Now, if it's PayPal, just click this, proceed to PayPal. It would immediately take me up to PayPal once, of course, I finished all this billing stuff, which I didn't fill out. Or credit card, same thing. I would fill out all this billing info, enter the credit card, place the order nice and simple. So with that said, I don't know really of an online store just as easy as this. And bear in mind, I just want you to know that you can actually, the, the, the theme of this, you can have any colors that you want. You can change any of the graphics. You can change any of the look and feel like the headers and the logos. It doesn't have to be like the way I've done it, black and white. It could be whatever you want. Let me just show you a service. I think I've got this one set up. Now they wanted to book me for a hypnosis. Oh, let's just disconnect the video. So you can search two categories at the same time. See that there, $300 for an online session. That's just an online consultation. And when they come here, you can see that I've embedded a video that's gonna play that they can actually watch. And if they're ready to go, you'll see now, because it's a service, because it's a bookable gig, a calendar pops up. So they might wanna, and you can obviously change the dates and times of when you are or not available. Let's just say on the 19th, it pops up with, well, what time? Let's just say 11.30, you get the idea. So you can cancel Acuity, Calendly, and all the other stuff that you use, and you can just use this one. Add to cart, this is good for also selling uh, shows. And exactly in the same way, they would go to their cart, they would be able to check out, and they would be able to book you for a session or a show or a speaking engagement or whatever it might be. And you can see look, that they've added the time, the date, where the, where the referral link came from. There's a link to the store again. And they would just check out just in the normal way. So I'm going to go very quickly to another store right here. And I'm going to go to his store that sells downloads. So I'll show you what it looks like when I purchase something. And just quickly, 
you can actually have things for free. So if I want to send somebody a video of my work or send some, some I want to send somebody a, a promo reel or a sizzle reel, or I want to share with somebody, hey, I want you to have a sample of my work. I don't actually have to upload it anywhere on YouTube or anything like that. I can just drive them to my my shop and I can have them real quick get a copy of this. And as you can see, it's free. So let's just see what happens here because I did actually get this about a week ago and it might remember me. It might not. Let's just see if it remembers me. Then I don't have to fill out the checkout. But bear in mind, this is free. So as I go to the checkout, let me see if I can just check out real quick. It will ask me if I already have an account, which I do. But for the sake of this, I do actually have all my info entered in. It might remember me as a, as a previous customer. Let's just see what it does. Yep, order complete. So I have just gone ahead and got that video. It's got my order number on it. It's got what I've actually ordered. And I, I actually, this person put a restriction on how many times you can download it. It never expires. So the link that you get is unique and it's a secure link. Never expires, but I can only download it 10 times. And this is the information about what I purchased. So this would have all my billing info on here, the price of the item. And if I wanted to then download it, I'll just click this. And there we go. It downloaded right onto my computer. So that's kind of how the store looks online. Just the other thing I want to quickly show you is we have a built-in chat feature uh, for contacting support. So this is, as you can see, this is his store. And you'll see that there is a little chat support here. If you click on that, up pops the chat and it remembers the customer's email and name. And as I type something in here, like, you know, when are you in Ohio? This is going to go straight to this person's email and alert him that he can then answer this. So that's a really good way to have a built-in support mechanism. It comes with the store. There's no extra cost. Um, if I check my emails, let's see, that will come in in a minute. So I'll come back to that in just a few seconds. But I'm, oh, there it is. So you'll see that right there, I got my email thanking me for my order. So this is the professional looking emails that you get from the store. Just to let you know, we've received your order. There's the number and a direct download link inside of the email, which is awesome. So look how professional that is. Here is your downloadable link to your video. This is a great way to share with friends and family. Uh, and you can see that's the email that was automatically sent from the store, very professional. And then you'll see web store, the message that I typed, and you'll see that this message has been sent to the owner of the store and I get a copy as well, and it tells me what I was using, a Mac. So really, really super cool. So that's what the stores look like. You can customize them however you choose to um, and make them look nice and pretty. Just before I continue, I'm just going to stop sharing. I'm going to check in with you guys, see if you have any questions. Colette, does it link to Stripe? Yes. So basically, when you set up your store, which I'm going to show you in a minute, you're going to set up your Stripe account so that you can accept credit cards and you're going to um, connect your PayPal account if you want to so that you can also connect with PayPal. So your customers pay using their credit card or using PayPal. Kelly sees it. Yes, yes, yes. Any other questions before I quickly move on? That's what the stores look like. You can design the look and feel of them. Um, I'm going to get into in a minute what it actually comes with. So what actually can you upload and what quantity and how much so if you have any questions type them in and if not i'm going to move on and going to show you what it actually looks like in the administration area of the online store we're at 44 minutes we will be finishing on the hour so we have about 15 minutes left so if there are no questions and everyone is cool then i'm going to continue um let me know in the chat if we're good to go just give me one or two heads up and then I'll move right on. And in the meantime, of course, I did download my um, my video that I just got from that other store, which is just what your your uh, your customers would get. 
So pretty bloody awesome, I think. This is, and I'm about to share with you some of the best stuff that I've saved until the end. That in the world of selling things online, this will be the really, really the uh, the greatest thing in the world. So, any questions? I'm not seeing any. I'm going to move on in a few moments. Five, four, three. Colette is typing. Any questions? Put them in there real quick. No, we're all good to go. All right. So here's what the store looks up. Oh, here's one. Does it link to Stripe? Does it work with any web format? This works with any web format. So basically, when you get your online store, you'll just link to it. You're going to get your own link and you just link to the store. The store is proprietary. So you're not having to embed anything. There's no coding. There's no um there's nothing to do really. The store is standalone. You just log in with a username and password into your store. You add your products and you sell your products and just link straight to your website. So let me show you what it looks like and then it'll make sense. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Here we come. I'm going to show you some of the things you can do real fast. Ding, ding, ding. Where are we? So close that. Close that. Close that. All right, here we are. So now I'm inside of my online store. There is an overview section, and this is brand new. I literally launched this live officially last night. So let's just show you some of the details. So immediately here, you get a dashboard. It's going to show you all your sales. It's going to show you your visitors. So started getting some traffic. This is just test traffic. It's going to show you where your stuff is showing up online where what products you have what part of the world people are buying things right you now you're going to see that you can add new products here by adding a new item so as you click on that and you go to add a product it's very simple you can choose a regular product so this could be anything physical it could be anything digital is it variable so does it have multiple price points or does it have like let's say a t-shirt, small, medium, and large. Is it a bookable service? So this is a gig. You know, this is uh, a gig that you're selling or a service that you're offering. Is it a monthly subscription? Or are you selling bundles of stuff? Like I'm selling my five MP3s all in one bundle. So super cool. So I'm going to just do a demo one real quick. This is a bookable service. And then if you click on this is a service, I would simply add a title, a description. I would create the calendar item. So this would be where the calendar is. If I'm collecting tax, I would figure out the tax using the software. I would set my availability, how much it costs. I would use and set up the SEO meta tag so that it gets searched on Google. What kind of currency? This can be used with over 100 countries' currencies. I could add my Facebook pixel, which is great for remarketing, retargeting. I could insert and upload custom HTML. So that means I could have custom items like embedded videos. I could have when they purchase the products, I could have them redirect to my own website or another funnel or a different link that's mine, which is kind of cool. And I can add any custom field. So simply when I fill all that out and hit submit, I'll magically have a product. If I wanted to sell a download, I just go to standard products. It's not a service because I'm selling a download. So I click on download. I would call it download, I don't know, special video. Just for argument's sake, you would put whatever you want in there. Set a price, $25. Now, if I wanted to have a sale price, I'd put that in there. And if I did, on the main online store, it would say like 25 would be like crossed out and it was it would now be special offer sale price. I would add my thumbnail just by coming in here. Go ahead and upload a file. Super, super simple. I could just literally create uh, an image. So let's just take this. It's not a digital product. But you get the idea. I can upload it. Now, bear in mind, I can upload all my videos in here, too, and all my MP3s. So all of my merchandise can get uploaded all into one place. There it is uploaded. That's going to be the thumbnail. If I want to add more, more pictures, I can. Item category this is in. I'm selling a video, so let's just call it video. 
add a description in there. That's a short description. And then you can add a longer one, longer description. How do I want to collect payments? I want to use Stripe and PayPal. I've already integrated with Stripe and PayPal. You do not want to choose bank transfer. Why would you want to do that? Cash on delivery. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You might do, but I, I don't know if I would go for those. Gigrove, which is the platform we're using, if you use their payment gateway, credit card, Gigrove, if you use that one, they're going to charge you 8%. You don't want to use that. You want to use Stripe or PayPal because Stripe or PayPal, as we know, is the cheapest way. It's only about 2%. It's the cheapest way to actually make and receive payments online. So as I scroll down, inventory, do I want to limit this to only 50? Do I want to say it's out of stock? Do I want to say it's on back order? That would be good for physical products. Downloadable, now I'm just going to name the file. It's a video, hypnosis. This is what shows up on their um, download. I would upload the file. So this is where I would find the video just by adding a new file, or in this case, I'll just use one I've already uploaded. There's a show that MP4. So you can see um, I don't need to use Vimeo and I don't need to use YouTube because I can upload videos directly into here. Do I want to set how many times they can download it, a download limit? I could if I wanted to. They can only download it once or unlimited or twice. So let's just put, they can only download it twice. Does the link expire? I don't know why there would be a reason where you want it to expire, but maybe maybe there is, I don't know. Uh, is it a physical product? If it is, look, you would put in all your um, shipping weights, dimensions, heights, and you would figure that out with your local post office or with your local delivery system platform. And you would also tell the person when they bought the product, and on the website, when's it get delivered? Usually we deliver this, I don't know, one to three business days. So that's kind of cool, right? Tax, if it is taxable, you would want to find your tax and you would want to make sure that that is set in the settings to the correct tax of where you live. Attributes, is there anything like small, medium, or large? Not in this case. Is it linked to other products? Yeah, I want them to also buy my adult show right there i want them to buy this as well this is where it's suggesting other products so what else i want them to buy this one too this is an mp3 so i can add as many things as i want by upselling which is very cool and cross-selling more about that later i don't want to get too buried in what this does but let me just tell you it's suggesting other items before they actually leave the shopping cart or it's selling them other items while they're still on the screen. There's various different ways to make more money out of this one purchase. SEO, this is important. This is what Google wants to see. So you're just gonna type in all your search terms, your meta tags, so that Google can find your product. Currency, if you're in the US, set it to the US. If you're in Europe or England or Canada, set it to the currency that you're collecting, which is kind of cool. Do you want to insert your Facebook pixel? Hugely important if you're remarketing. So if somebody visits this page to buy this product, it's going to remarket to them on Facebook, which is really cool. Do you want to embed anything else? Just paste the code in there. What URL do you want to redirect them to? You can choose that. Do you want to give them a license for something? This is kind of cool, where you can issue a license to a product. So let's just submit this. And once I just hit submit, you can see it says product successful. So basically, now that I've got this product, I can simply duplicate it if I have more than one, make it featured, which it's going to stand out on my site. I didn't have any featured products, but if I was to have this featured, it just creates a bigger sort of banner of this product. I can duplicate it or add a new one and I can see what it looks like. So let's just see what it looks like. I just hit view. And look how quick that is. Look, the URL has already said download dash, dash special dash video. You can see that it's already populated everything. It's already suggesting these other products. 
and boom, I have a product, super simple. Now anybody can do this. So let's make it featured. Now, if I make this featured, let me just make sure that, oh, it's still thinking. All right now it's made it featured. So I'm gonna also create a sale price just so you can see what happens. Let's just hit submit. So now when I go and view this, you're gonna see the price actually is different because you're gonna see right in here that it's now $15. And if I actually just go to the main web page, go to my main web page right here. Look, it's on sale and it's gonna flag it as right here as a featured product. So just before we go any further, I am going to remove this. And I'm actually just gonna put this back into draft mode so that it's not on my website. I don't want anybody to buy it. So let's just put it into draft. And just real quickly, some of the other things you can do in here is change the way your sales look and appear. You can create uh, an area in here where you can see all your bookings. So this would be if you have a whole bunch of bookings for your show or for your seminars or for your, your services, your booking list would appear in here. If you were delivering any items, it would appear in delivery manager. If you were shipping any items, it would be in your shipping area. All your media, and as you can see, there's all your shipping information that you would want to fill out. So if you are shipping products, this is the area that you would actually customize to where you're shipping and all your policies and where you're shipping it from and how you're actually changing all your settings inside of there. So you can change the look and feel, the payments, the delivery systems, the customer support, the fonts, the colors, all within this area here, super, super cool. So that's shipping. Media is gonna be where you're hosting all your media. So once you've uploaded your media, it actually all appears in here. So you can always see your media. You can already get a direct link. You can create licenses. This would be good if you're selling software. You could just create a license and when they get that license number, they type it in and that's how they can access your software that you're actually selling. There was an area here that would show you all your subscribers. If you were selling subscriptions, which of course we are not at the moment, you would see a list of all your orders and you would be able to manage all your orders. So just in case somebody needs details about their order, you can see that you can print them out on a PDF and an Excel CSV file. So you can see all your orders. You can see a whole bunch of reports and analytics in the CRM would be where you would see your customers don't have any in here yet, but there would be a list of all your customers, all your emails, uh, all their phone numbers. Anybody that's ever filled out a support ticket, you would have an area here where somebody's filled out a support ticket so you can answer it. You'll see your customers, all the names and details of your customers. If you wanna create a coupon code and actually have one of your products 100, let's say $100 off, you would actually create coupon codes right in here. Super easy. And actually, I've done a few here that give people 100% off. So you just create coupon codes easily built in. A lot of, a lot of um, online stores don't have abilities to create coupons. Lots of other stuff in here, but all the settings of the store, or you can add team members. So if you didn't want to manage your store yourself, just have an assistant use an assistant to manage your store for you and you can add unlimited team members that's pretty significant too because you can create admins you could have people run your store for you finally i just want to show you one more and it's custom domain so you can now this is where you would have it sitting on your custom domain and it includes a security ssl so that it's not insecure. So basically this is the most secure way of actually selling a product is using this custom domain area. So there's a lot going on in here. I have one more thing to quickly show you, but this is the overview of the back office of your, sh of your store. As you can see, it's really easy to create a product. You can see and edit and customize 
all your existing products. You can see under my products, it's going to show you all the products that you created and you can manage the prices. You can make them featured. You can it'll show you a link straight to them. What I love about this, for example, is if I take one of these improve exam, uh, exam anxiety, as I quickly go to the edits, I can change it. I can edit it. I can alter it really, really fast all inside of this dashboard. I can see what it looks like live to the public. And you'll see that the URL is always going to tell you what it is. So this is a super, super, super store, a super way to get bookings for your shows or for your services, sell physical products with tax and shipping implications, sell digital downloads, um, sell Uber Eats kind of style, kind of menu delivery system. It pretty much does it all. I'm going to quickly look and see where we're at with any questions. And then just before we wrap up, I'm going to give you the prices of what it all costs. Uh, let's see. Any quick questions? Does it link to Stripe? Yes. Can this be used for affiliate products? Yes. Can it be used for drop shipping? Yes. Um, you would just need to make sure that the API matches whatever your drop shipping service is, as well as the way it's shipped. Uh, have an appointment. See you in Florida. Yes, sir. Take care. Thank you so much. So just quickly, for a store like this, we're using a um, a program called Gig Rove. And at the moment, if you go to gigrove.com, you'll see they're charging $99 a month. Don't freak out. Don't panic. But you'll see it's $99 a month. Now, they have a basic plan, which is $20 a month. I don't recommend that because there's too many features that are missing from the plan. But the $99 premium plan a month is the one we use. Um, but you're not going to pay $99 because we have a, a special offer running for, I think, the next four or five days. But just to let you know what you get for $99 a month, you're going to get a storefront, shipping management, booking management, the delivery management, uh, creating variable, variable products, digital products, upsells, subscription billing, all the things I just talked about. You're going to be able to map a custom domain to your store. It's going to automate the way you collect taxes. You're going to get included all the analytics. You're going to be able to assign unlimited team members. You're going to be able to have 200 gigs of storage. That's huge. Most of my videos at the most are only going to be, well, they're, they're less than a gig. So as long as you're not putting up super, super 4K high quality videos, you don't want to do that anyway your storage is pretty significant and that's for digital downloads. So usually something like an audio is like 500 kilo kilobytes or like one megabyte or something like that. So if you run out of gigabytes, you can actually buy some more, it's cheap. I don't think you're gonna run out of 200 gigabytes of storage. Um, your uploads can be five gig in any one upload. So nothing's really going to exceed that either. You can have unlimited live products. So I know a lot of services like Shopify limit you to how many products you can have. There is the live chat and messaging feature and the, the, the uh, support tickets, as I showed you. Coupons, as I showed you. Stripe and PayPal integration. Now, if you integrate with Stripe and PayPal and use that to collect payments, you're not going to pay any transaction fees other than what Stripe and PayPal charge you. So that, again, that's huge. All right. Here's the utopia. You're not going to pay ninety nine dollars a month. Well, you are if you miss this offer because it is going to expire. But at the moment, the utopia is no monthly fee. So imagine no ninety nine dollar a month, which is nine hundred and something. Well, it's a thousand and something a year. You're actually just going to pay two hundred bucks once. And what I have is I have a whole bunch of these accounts that I secured from the company that you can get right now, gatewaytomillions.com forward slash store. If you're watching the replay and this has expired and the offer has gone, then it will revert to the monthly fee. But at the moment, for everything I have just shown you, you're only going to pay it once, 200 bucks. That's it. You pay once. It's an incredible offer. Uh, and actually, it's the most affordable online store I have personally ever seen. Uh, 200 bucks is pretty cheap. In fact, it's incredible for all of what I've just shown you. 
no extra fees just one time just one one time fee of two hundred dollars gatewoodamillions.com forward slash store that does get you the traction you are going to start to get sales month on month as you build your items in as you get more products as you add more services it's a it's a no-brainer to keep adding more products and services right you're also going to get that custom do domain and url so all of your stuff is gonna to start to appear on all the search engines. Colette says, excellent. Jonathan says, awesome. Francis says, wonderful. Yes, it's a bloody good deal. Uh, you're going to get ongoing resources. So we have have an agreement with the company that you are going to be put on the premium plan. I'm not gonna insult your own intelligence. You can go on to gigrove.com right now and you can actually go on there and see their roadmap, all the new resources, all the new features that they've got coming out, you will get them because you're going to be placed on the premium plan. You're gonna be on that $99 a month premium plan for the cost of 200 bucks. Don't ask me how we did it, but we did it. <laughs> and we know the store designers and developers, and that's where all our stores are sitting. It is awesome. I do have a call to action just before we leave. As long as the stores are still available, um, you are able to get it right there. You should see that on your screen, lifetime deal online store, take action, get your store for one time fee. If you click on that, it's gonna take you to gatewaytomillions.com forward slash store. Um, if you quickly wanna see what it looks like, you should be going to this area here. I'm just gonna share this screen. We're gonna finish the webinar. And if you're watching the replay and we don't have any left, then it is gonna to revert to $99 a month. But this is the page you're gonna land on and you're gonna see right here, you can sell digital products, services and gigs like classes, workshops, events and shows, fitness and recreation, coaching and therapy sessions, anything that is a service you can sell start running a delivery business so that's might get your mind racing but that's the way the world is going right now everything is getting delivered to people's homes subscription billing that's that monthly reoccurring fee physical products it's going to take care of the tax for you and the shipping the color the size the weight the custom variables of course you can accept paypal and stripe with the store you're only going to pay their transaction fees like two percent i think it is but you're not going to you're going to pay zero transaction fees with gig grove uh you're going to manage your orders your products your customers your custom domain your custom artwork you check out you can customize all of this stuff you will get at the time of recording this webinar you will get lifetime access you will get your online store booking management, delivery management, digital products, custom domain, coupons, integrations with Stripe and PayPal, 200 gigs of storage. You won't need as much as that. Unlimited live products, branded emails that have your own brand on them, live chat and messaging, unlimited team members, a customer dashboard. Don't forget they can create their own customer area so they can log in and become a customer analytics, subscription billing. The lifetime deal is 200 bucks, one-time fee. You click this button to reserve that store. Once it's gone, it's gone, but you can actually click this to get your online store right now. We are actually delivering them starting today for the people that took advantage of our pre-launch, which was actually a month ago. Uh, this offer does end on the 18th, which at the time of recording this is in six days time. Uh, this is a live webinar, so if this does go down to zero, when you actually go ahead and look at this, you'll see that the store offer has ended, uh, available in hundreds of different countries. You can obviously look at the comparisons of to how cheap this is. And without further ado, that's all I want to show you. It's super awesome. I'm using it to sell all my stuff, all my products and all my services. I'm completely sold on this idea, on this process. So if you want that online store, you know what you need to do. You can actually just go to gatewaytomillions.com forward slash store. I think it was, it's a forward slash store and uh, take advantage. We're gonna help you set up and we're starting today to get you hooked up into this. I'm just gonna make sure there's no final questions. If there isn't, 
feel free to type them in. This is your last chance. Type in your questions. Excellent. Looks good. Already, I already have it to bought it tonight. Kelly already have it. Looks awesome. Yeah, this is a fantastic deal. So if you do want to take advantage of this for 200 bucks, listen, one of the strategies I do with lifetime deals, you can buy this and gift it to somebody else. So let's just say you don't need this online store. You can buy it for $200 and you can then sell it to somebody else because your store is your store. You can change the name, the domain. So if you don't need it, somebody else might need it. You can secure it, sell it for $400, sell it for $1,000. It's worth $100 a month easily. And you're getting this for a lifetime, one-time fee of 200 bucks. And so you could just buy a couple of these, sit on them, and then resell them. We don't care because the store is awesome. Whoever has that account gets their name on it and it's theirs. So yeah, if you need it, let's go. Brian says, just confirmed. Awesome, Brian. We'll get you set up as soon as possible. Um, we are going to go. There are a couple of people. In fact, there's a lot of people that purchase these stores in December. We're rolling these out today. So we are from today and tomorrow. So we are going to be contacting those that want to get going with their store. I'll tell you, it's awesome. I'll be here to help you set this up. You don't need any other software, by the way. So you don't need follow up Spark, which is awesome, but you don't need it. You don't need a Vimeo account. You don't need anything other than a way to collect payments. Now, Gigrove does have their online, they have built in their processor, right? Don't use it. They'll charge you 8%, but they integrate with PayPal and Stripe. So when you integrate and use PayPal and Stripe, you're not paying any fees. And for 200 bucks, this is going to make its money back hand over fist because you're never, ever going to get charged a monthly fee because you're locked into $200 lifetime deal. It's pretty freaking awesome. And as soon as I saw this, I jumped on it. And the reason I'm selling this to you is I bought a ton of accounts so that I can sell it. So that's exactly what I did. And I know how cool this is. So final comments, great deal. Awesome, getting ready to get started. Just purchase this. Awesome. Now there's, there's gonna be people on the replay that want this. And um, if that is you and you didn't show up live, and I understand life takes over, if you didn't show up live and this offer has gone, unfortunately, it's gone. So the only thing I can say to you is even at $99 a month, it's a super awesome deal. If you see the price change to $99 a month, the power of this store is phenomenal and it, it's still worth 100 bucks a month. For me, that's only selling four digital downloads a month and to get that $99 back. So would I pay $99 a month? Would I pay $99 a month to have the same store? The answer would be yes. But of course, I only pay 200 bucks. So I'm on a lifetime deal, but I would pay $100 a month. Six months from now, I would still pay $100 a month because this is an awesome way to sell your show, your products, your services, your downloads. So Cool. So a lot of people have just jumped on. Uh, really, really cool. We'll get you set up. We'll start to email you a bit later on. Uh, hopefully you found this super useful. And uh, if there's no uh, further questions, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys for an hour and 14 minutes. So I'm, I went over by 14 minutes, but I hope you don't mind. It's kind of a big subject. It's kind of a lot to, to show you. But $200 is bloody good. And uh, yeah, Take action. Action takers get rewarded. And uh, one more time, I'll pop up the link. This will not be live on the replay, of course, but you guys will be able to see the Lifetime Deal online store appearing on your screen. You can click the button, take action, and we will get you set up in the next couple of days with your beautiful online store. With that said, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time around. Any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. And uh, thank you for your time. And get selling your products and services. Make that residual passive income. Sell that stuff. Make some money. Enjoy life. Have a good time. Prosper. Be successful. This is a, a great opportunity to thrive. And with that said, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. I'm going to stop the recording. And we're going to...